was behind the wheel. They say he caused the death of their loved one. Five on your side investigates Mike Rush is here with that story. Hey, and Mike, Marco Nezovich was planning to enter the police academy. He wanted to help people and uphold justice. Tonight, his family wonders if the justice system failed to protect him. Collages of pictures marking a life well lived, but not nearly long enough. Not sure how my family is going to pick up our pieces and get back together. Marco Nezovich was just 23 when he died last Wednesday. He was riding home from work on his motorcycle when a Gravoy Road. Caitlin Pigu was his girlfriend. Marco never saw it coming. He just, just hit him and that was it. He was thrown for the motorcycle. He was wearing a helmet but died from his injuries. Investigators say the SUV was blocking Marco's lane after the driver hit the median several times and spun around. Behind the wheel, Mark McKay. He was arrested for DWI and possession of a controlled substance. And this is far from his first mugshot. He has eight prior alcohol-related um, offenses. Patrick Homaker is an assistant circuit attorney prosecuting McKay in one of those offenses. He says he sympathizes with the family. I don't understand how someone like that is out driving a car. Where do you draw the line when somebody's repeatedly breaking the law? McKay has served prison time, according to the Department of Corrections, a few months on a couple of occasions and nearly three years, ending in 2011. He's also been fined and his license revoked, but the prosecutor says he continued to drive. He has no business being behind the wheel of a motor vehicle. Um, I'm confident that the uh, court and the system is going to hold him accountable. This was going to be Marco's partner. Just not soon enough for those who mourn Marco. You broke my family's heart into a million pieces. McKay is classified as a chronic offender, which calls for an increased punishment if convicted up to 15 years. In the case the prosecutor is currently working on, he says he will fight for a stiff sentence. I've asked Missouri Highway Patrol if McKay will be charged in Marco's death. I haven't heard back. If you have a problem you'd like me to look into, send an email to 5 side at kstk.com or leave me a message at 314-444-5231. Mike Rush, 5 Your Side Investigates. A fight against red light cameras paid off for some local women.